What's going on guys, Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video of Moving Weight Fishing. And today we got something way different for you guys. We got Victor from Victor Outdoors, Victor Outdoors, Land Shark Outdoors. Sorry, we got Brooke Chris back there from Brooke Chris Outdoors. We got, we got a full crew today. And then we got Crystal, we got Alex, we got Calico Crab Joe. How's it going? <laughs> and then we got the man, the myth, the legend, Cody. My dad. All three of these guys run charters. Alex does inshore charters and some offshore. Uh, Joe does a little bit of everything, right? Yep. Joe? Yep. Right. Uh, right. Joe, what do you do? I'm a charter captain here in Key West. What do you fish for? Whatever you everything? want to catch. I do like them. And? Cody's the legend, but Cody's putting us on Kubera Snapper tonight, hopefully. So, all right, all we're doing right now, guys, is we're rigging up. We're waiting for uh, Cody to get on the boat. This is Calico Joe, Calico <laughs> Crab Joe himself. <laughs> all right, Joe, show us what we got for the rig. Um, we have 250-pound wind-on to, like, 15 or 20 feet of 250-pound uh, leader with two big swordfish hooks on it. Look at these giant hooks we're using. And we got a special bait today, isn't that right, Victor? Oh yeah, we got the bait of baits. So us what we got we for got bait. the king's bait, look at this. First time you guys see Adam use a whole lobster's bait, look at this. This is gonna hurt you in the comments, but. A snapper bait. One bite and that thing's gone. Oh. Oh, going look down Look at this high. one. You know we ain't playing around if we're using this as bait today. Jumbos. We're fishing for giant Kubera snapper today. Like I said, we're waiting for Cody to get on the boat, and then I'm gonna introduce everybody, but we got a full crew today. And me, Victor, and Brooke just drove four, four hours down to the Keys. Worth it, though. It's so worth it. I think me and Victor have a bad obsession with you the Kubera snapper. Jo you don't. Joe and Alex, Alex don't understand. We're like training no. for a Kubera. You guys don't know. Like me and Victor have been fishing the whole summer. It's bad. It's a sad, it's a sad obsession. Too many times to, to talk about. But you guys are probably already, I've already seen that Kubera jaw video I made. So hopefully we can make one with a 56 pounder today. We'll see you guys when Cody gets on the boat. All right, so Joe just picked up the first bait. There's something going on in my GoPro. I don't know what's going on. But he's got, what is that, a 10-0? It's a 10-0 swordfish hook, mustad swordfish hook. And uh, we have one through the tail and then the stinger up in the head zip tied to its head just like that. Yeah, and the reason you zip tie is because this one, there's nowhere to really hook in. It'll, it'll rip out, right? Yeah, or it'll kill them if you, if yeah. you poke into their head like For that. For sure. So, these are all legal locks, sir. I think Victor said that. I did. But, you copy everything I say, bro? Out of here. Throw you in the water. But these are all legal lobster, and who caught them? Cody? Oh. Or all you guys? Everybody. Everybody teamwork these lobster, and they've had them penned up for like a month. But first base going down. Wow. You gotta drop these real slow, or else they'll spin up on the way down. Right. Because there's not a lot of tide, correct? Yeah, well, also because the the bait, they, they just aren't really hydrodynamic, so they just spin on the way down. If you gotcha. Don't. So literally letting the line slip off the reel just like yep. this. And you guys even are, even are not fishing a lot of lead. Typically, no, yeah, there's no no current today, so yeah. no no not much lead. Yeah. So there's there's no tide, and typically when you don't have tide and you fish lead in period, I mean in general, you kind of have to let it down slow because your bait's just gonna spin up on the way down. With the tide, it will flow out. So it's not gonna spin up, but when there's no tide like this, and especially a lobster's different than a live bait. Yeah. We're gonna let Joe rope the first one on YouTube for you guys. <laughs> so what's Joe, what Joe's saying is, there is, they're fishing lockdown drag. If these fish get into the wreck, it's it's over. If they even look at the wreck, you're done. These are the strongest snapper in the world. I, I'd say one of the strongest fish in the world. They are so mean. They just wanna get in the wreck and break you off. They're impossible to catch, but. We're gonna break that today. All right, how how locked do you want the drag? Joe can't even pull the drag off. Two hands. We're gonna bring it up. All right, now we're just gonna let it sit, just like that. Yep, he's reeling it about 40 feet off the bottom because the Cabarrus aren't too finicky at all. We're fishing 200 pound leader. They see a live lobster, they don't care if it's cable or whatnot on the end of there. They're eating it. Nice. Sorry. No, 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 you're Cody's got one on. Get him, Victor. Alright, we got our first two bear on of the night. Let's do the real on, it's loose. Crank, buddy! Woo! 
Woo! If that thing gets charged, Victor, right you yeah. better crank. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That was like a decent one. I dropped it back, and when I dropped it back, Bro, he ate it. He smoked it. it. He ate it so many times. Oh, really? it oh, you're getting bit. No, no, you're dropping down. Bro, you scared oh. me. Real, 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 real. It's, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Just let him do his thing. We're off yeah, the bottom. Good, good. Right. Right. Yeah, I mean, working fast, but we're off the bottom, so you don't want to lock it up anymore. How deep? We're like 200? Yeah, you're good. Just keep, keep cranking them up. Should be a decent one. When you get to the ledge, swing it over to me. Victor's just cranking his leg. Go, you go, you go. Come on, come on. Oh, no. no, we're in the wind on, we're in the mono. Oh, it's right there. Keep going. There it is. That a, that a chew bear. Yeah, I saw it. What else would it be that eats a lobster? That's him. Oh my oh, god. Dude, he's Victor. Big. Victor. He's big. You want a gaff or are you flipping him? You got him on the gaff. Oh, oh my god. He's freaking oh my giant, god. Bro. Oh Holy. my god. Oh my god. Pull him, pull him. Oh, oh my god. god. Get the line. Get, get, get Joey's line. Okay. Grab that off. It's alright. We're not in a rush. She's a good one. No. You were like, oh, it's a decent one. Freaking you oh, it, bro. Fight him. We fight him without a drag. You can't really tell how big they are. 35 pounder? About 40 pounds. Uh, no, I think it's just, just unhook them. Just unhook them. Alright, Victor just caught one. Joe in the front of the boat had a bite at the same time. Victor, bro. I Whoa. want you to take in what Whoa. you caught. Let, it, let that sink in real quick. That's sick. You're not excited enough. I think they're there and they're just being finicky. Because when I dropped it back, as soon as I hit the bottom, he, he swallowed this it down. Got, there we go. There we go. Bro, I, if this thing eats my hand, I'm dead. Turn, turn All right. towards me. Turn towards me. I'm coming you got behind. one, Joe? Go up front. Go up front. Get him, Joe. Get him, Joe. Yeah, no, no. It's one. That's a fish. Big one, Joe. Yeah. Adam. What? Double, bro. Double. This is insane. Smoke. I don't even care if I catch him. I just want to see Joe tight. Yeah, Joe. You can fight him light. You don't have to fight him hard. We're way off the wreck. <laughs> I can't believe you guys didn't feel it on there the whole time you had the brain there. It was on there? Yeah. I could feel it. No, 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 no. No, he's still there. He's still there. He's coming at you. He's still there. Yeah, yeah. If they're taking line, you want to lock it up. But as soon as you start turning them, you want to start backing it off because you never know if they're hooked super good or not. Right. And once they're halfway up, you can really back, not back it off as in like, you know, 20 pounds of drag. Yeah. But. And the reason we're trying to get these fish in, first of all, is because they want to get in the wrecks. But after you get it far enough away from the wrecks, we have a bad shark problem. Everywhere in the world. So these fish, the they're going to get sharked if you don't, if you don't rip them out. So you don't want to find them too hard when I pull the hook. I've seen a lot of fish come up barely hooked in the skin, and that's why you don't want to have it full right. drag once you get them off the bottom. That's all good. He's got double camera. It's okay though. My rod holders take some serious abuse. They're all like lifting. Like the only ones that are back are these ones. Or they're all back, but from this much drag, the rod holders just, there he is. No, it's fine. They all, the, all my rod holders are like popping out. Joey's in here. There we go. You, you good? Yeah. There he is. Probably, probably just big, honestly. It's a real big yeah. one. No, that one's Dude, big. that's a big one. That one's biggest. Oh my god. Jeez. Oh my god. Joe. That's a monster. That's a giant, dude. Woo. We go all the way to the tip. Joe. Oh, look, he got shark, too. Yep. No. Did he? No, he didn't. Kinda. The yeah, battery's in the wreck. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. God. Woo! He got... He got shark. Stuff. But we still got him. Dude. Oh, my God. Joe? Bro. <laughs> there you go. Joe. I love you. That's a I love you. 55. Oh. Hold that fish up. Let me see that bad boy. You! <laughs> oh my god. There you go. Jumbo. Joey, look at me when you're done. Go get yours. One fish, two drifts. I mean, two fish, one drift. Adam, move on this side so the light's on. Did he? He did get bit by a shark. Yeah, he did. Hold him up. Oh my god. Ready, double. Yeah! Got him. Good job, boys. This is crazy. We're going to take some pictures. All right, so check this out. We just weighed the two Kuberos. We're not going to put this one back on the scale, but this guy was 57 pounds. Definitely felt like it. And this guy, 43 pounds. Giant. Absolute. They're just broad. Unreal. Never thought I'd see it. No? 
We saw two tonight. Yeah. Um, so, what are we going to do now? Go to bed and then see him in the morning? Yeah. See him in the morning. Take his last sleep in the, in the cooler. All right, so you guys, if you guys want to check out Victor's channel, I'll have all the stuff linked below. He did the first side of this Cabrera and he actually outlined it because, I mean, look at the way the fish is sitting. The head's so big that the body just slants down and if you did one side at a time, you'd absolutely, you, you definitely miss a lot of meat. So we outlined this already, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off for you guys. Did most of it, but definitely a tough fish to flay. I mean, they got, they got some of the biggest scales. It's like tarpon scales. Yeah, That's not even a big one unreal. either. Unreal. That's unreal. not a big one. They get bigger. They're just really hard to flay. That's why I got to have a Dexter knife though. I actually have a code. If you guys want to save 20% on all Dexter knives, it'll be popping up right here. Code Adam20 and I'll have a link below. You guys go check them out. But I'm going to flay this Cabrera up real quick. Yeah, dude, it's, it's so hard because you got to sit there and hold the meat. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the, the biggest thing part. is holding it up. That is for sure the hardest part. Is it the biggest fish you flayed, Adam? Yeah, for sure. Every fish like this big, we usually sell, like grouper and stuff. Yep. So. I Ooh, hate that... flaying big dolphin, too. Yeah. I don't know. I love flaying big fish. Really? I like flaying big fish more than I like flaying little I fish. I like, I hate flaying little fish, but like a, like a 10 pound fish is like the most satisfying thing ever to flay. I'm like a 10 pound snapper, like a big mutton or something, dude. And whenever you fillet fish, like you guys see Adam, he's trying not to fold the meat over on itself. When you fold the meat over, it's not good for the fillet. Gotta push it up against something. I had to turn it around here, boys. Too Do much it. too much to work with. You go all the way to the back, though. Some gutage. But we're definitely looking inside this fish's stomach. Oh my god. That. Yeah, we didn't think of that. <laughs> nice. It's just an awkward fish to fillet. No it's doubt. Just any, oh my god, dude, nice, nice fillet job. Thank you, thank petite, you. Petite, very petite. Look at this. Ah. There's nothing petite about that. There That's, is nothing. That is not small whatsoever or petite. It's just a giant slab of meat. Victor said he had some worms, oops, on his fillet. I don't think we got any on mine. Is this a worm? Bro, no, that's, that's a worm. that's worms, man. That's is worms. That? Yes. That ain't a worm. Adam, those are worms, buddy. Those are worms. I don't know, man. They're tiny, though. Worms. We got worms, ciguatera. We got a lot a lot to worry about <laughs> from this fish. You ready to eat ciguatera tonight? Sure. Why not? It's going to taste good. Cabrera snapper and any other big fish on the reef um, can potentially get ciguatera. Victor explained it in his video, but it's something it's something on the coral that the little fish eat, right? Yep. And yep. so it's more in the Bahamas and stuff where they have a lot of big reef. Um, but it's, not, it's, it's something on the reef that the smaller fish eat and then the food chain obviously the bigger fish eat the smaller fish and then it ends up Kubera eats one of those fish and then that's how they get it but Barracuda can get it, Kingfish, anything on the reef potentially could get it but just overrated for Kubera in my opinion. Hope yeah. I don't get it now after saying all that. These are two giant pieces Woo, of meat. Buddy. All right guys, so Victor's gonna go ahead now and cut off the head of this Cabrera because he's actually gonna do a jaw mount. So if you like my jaw mount video, you guys are gonna have to go over to his channel, check out the way he does a giant one versus 12 pounder. This is gonna be a, yeah. This is gonna be a challenge. This is gonna be a lot of carving away of meat. Mm -hmm. Bro, and a just, lot of boiling. I, <laughs> the backbone crack on this thing, it's gonna be like the ultimate chiropractor. All right guys, we're in the kitchen right now. I got my dad behind the camera for me and kitchen's a little bit of a mess, but my mom's cooking up for separate dinner. And we're gonna cook up this beautiful Kubera snapper. It's like day five or six and it still looks perfect. So, to start off, I got a little bit of minced garlic that I'm making right now, I call it. And then I come over to the pan over here. Scrape all that. It smells delicious. So I got some butter in there also. So, let that heat up a little bit more. All right, so here's what we're doing right now. We're not actually putting it in a pan. So I just put a little bit more butter in there. We got butter and mashed up garlic. I'm gonna turn the light on because there's zero light in the house. Okay, perfect. So all I'm gonna do, a little dash of Worcestershire sauce. Let's 
good. Some cracked pepper. Can't go wrong with any of that stuff. Right, Johnson? No, no comment from Johnson. And I got a little bit of parsley flakes. You know what I'm gonna do, Dad? I'm gonna add a couple of, uh, I think there's leftover greens. We got cilantro, basil, and parsley. I'm just gonna do a little bit. Boom. What else we got, what else we got? A little bit of Old Bay. Like I said, keeping it simple out here in the cut. And then, Top it off, just a little bit of salt. It's plenty. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead, get a spoon and mix that up. Let that simmer for probably about five, 10 minutes and then I'm gonna lather it on the fish. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do after with the panko. I'm gonna bring this over here. That's all I'm gonna do. Pour in the fish. Pour in the fish. Pour in this stuff all over the fish. And I'm just gonna lather it up. Look how good that looks, Johnson. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Can't go wrong with some butter, right? Make sure I get it all lathered up. Lay it down on my parchment paper. Look at that fat in there. That's gonna be, that's what Victor's calling the worm, wasn't it? Very suspect on Victor for that. It was definitely not a worm. Mm. I'm gonna lick my fingers. Okay. Dad, we got a lot of fish to eat. It's just me and you tonight. I think we'll be able to kill it all. What about you? All right, so all I'm doing, regular panko seasoning. We got probably about half, half a bit of butter. Half a stick of butter left in there with the garlic. This is the key. This is the trick. Pour that panko in there. You let, it get, you let that garlic and parsley and butter soak into the panko, and we're gonna lather it on the fish. Put it in the oven for about I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Tell me that's not gonna be lights out, Dad. He said, I don't know why you're whispering. <laughs> See how it changed colors from that white to soaking in all that sustenance? Oh. And I just pat it on there just like that. And I'm just doing the top side because Plenty of flavor, you know what I mean? I don't need to do both sides. I really want to spread it too. Alright, look at that. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. Boom. The oven has been preheated to 350. Looking beautiful. We're going to have to pop that bad boy in there. And then probably set it to about, we'll do 15 minutes. Yeah. All right, it's been about, we did, I think we, after 15 minutes, we checked it and said, let's give it another five. So it's been 18, 20 minutes. And wow, does that look good. Mm. 
smells like a stuffed artichoke. Look at that, baby. It's gonna be delicious. And then, for a side, shout out to the boy James. He gave us his leftover coleslaw and street corn, and I did a little bit of mixes. So, Johnson, make your plate. That's all for us, boys. All that fish. Woo! That is hot. Sexy hot or temperature hot? A little bit of both. Is that enough for you? Yeah. I mean, look at that. The way the bread comes just golden browns like that. Oh. It really is like stuffed artichoke, isn't it? Now that I'm thinking of it. Not really, we're not really big on the sides tonight. Stuffed Sorry. artichoke, um, Pasquale-esque. It is very Pasquale-esque. Two beautiful plates. Cannot complain at all. I'm gonna go sit down and give you a little taste test. Johnson, you're going first. Let me see that. Hold that up to the camera. Good. Mmm. Great flavor, great consistency. Excellent. Really good. Try the slaw and the uh, uh, street corn. A little bit of bothage. I didn't even get any of the corn on there. Who's the verdict? There you go. Isn't that corn good? Mmm. That's raw corn. That is good. Sure. Wow. James made that? Yeah. So lights out. Wow. Mm. I say invite James back to the house. I agree. James, now you gotta cook, come cook for the fan, but I'm gonna give a little taste test here, Johnson. Gonna hold the camera for me. I already had his corn, so I know what it tastes like. Delicious. You do. Mmm. Hot. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. And it's not chewy at all. Like, we that that's a 57-pound Kubera snapper. Some people say, oh, you can't eat that meat. That's gonna be chewy. All I did was slice the fillets in half and I butterfly some of them and some of them I left whole. Not, not chewy, it's still tender. Yeah, but God, that breaks apart. Yeah. Mmm. That's lights out, as they would say. Let me try the slaw, you boys. Mmm. Well, dinner's absolutely amazing. Once again, I want to give a huge shout out to Cody. I appreciate you inviting us down and Joe. Joe's the one who messaged me. And if you guys have any opportunities for YouTube, like any any fishing expeditions you want me to go, I'll go travel. I'll, I'll literally do anything. My DMs are wide open. I'll have my Instagram popping up right here. Any of the link below if you guys have an opportunity, shoot me a DM or comment on the page. Just, just ask. I'll go fishing. I don't care. That's how that happened. He showed DM me on Instagram. All right, guys. Um, my brother, my oldest brother, Matthew, actually just released a song. It's called The Doc, Malusi. It will be streaming on all platforms, or it is streaming. It's already out. It's an amazing song. If you guys want to go check it out, it'd be awesome. Support the fam. The name of the song will be popping up right here, and then you can, you can uh, grab the links below. But see you guys later. But I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We had a great crew. Can't wait to do it again. Until next time, moving weights out.